let's go to Wisconsin. Back to Scotty. Uh, hi, Joe, Big Al, and Andy. Really enjoy the show. Thanks for all the laughs and the wisdom, aka not financial advice. Yeah, we're just a couple of kids shooting the breeze. Assuming all is good with meeting income requirements and yada, 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 instead of putting some of the $7,000 I'm eligible to put into my Roth IRA for 2022, should I consider using those funds towards my tax liability for executing a full or partial conversion from a traditional IRA into an existing Roth IRA? How can I evaluate the long-term value of making a contribution versus a conversion. My husband and I are both 54 with plans to work until 65. Our AGI for 2022 should be down due to having another dependent to claim. No, not a baby at our ages. Second kiddo returning to college full time. Uh, Some total of our deductions will be worth itemizing in 2022. Plus the account balances are down. We drive our Hondas to the ground. We got a 2013 Odyssey, 2013 CRV, and a 2012 Civic. Our rescue pups, a poodle and a multi poo. Multi poo. Multi poo. Multi poo. Multi poo. There's a Maltese poodle mix. Uh, they get pretty anxious on their car rides. Maybe mm. I share a little smooth brandy old fashioned. Mm, brandy old fashioned. All right. Maybe. Uh, Maybe if you did. Sweet. I'm with them to enjoy the ride home. I like an old fashioned. <laughs> All right. So here's the deal. It depends on it depends on a couple of things, Diane. Oh, Diana. Like Princess Diana. Yeah. 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 Okay. So let's say seven thousand dollars. If hold on. if she's in the 12% tax bracket. So sure. It's a sixty thousand dollar conversion, roughly. Right, the the seven thousand dollars would cover. So you convert fifty eight thousand dollars, and then your tax bill is going to be seven grand. So I guess Diana, what what would you rather have? Fifty eight thousand dollars in the Roth or seven thousand in the Roth? Right, and if you're if you're in the call it the twenty four percent bracket, it's going to be roughly thirty thousand ish is is what you could convert. So that seven thousand dollars would allow you to convert thirty thousand or if you're in the lowest bracket, it would allow you to convert sixty ish. And that's federal. Um, I don't that's know what federal. The, you got to factor in state. state of Wisconsin. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's but I would say this um, that works for a lot of people that we talk to because they have high balances in IRAs and 401ks because they're trying to reduce their required minimum distribution. Or give tax so diversification right. or have a better a- income exactly. um, withdrawal strategy. There's multiple reasons. Now, if you if you really don't have that much in an IRA or a 401k, and so the re- required minimum distribution isn't going to amount to much, <laughs> then it doesn't, doesn't matter as much. Well, it's the same. It's the same math. It's but, the same math but, either but, way. But the reason you do that is to get a lot more money in the Roth tax-free Right. And if you if your RMD isn't really going to move the needle, it, that, I'm, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't really matter. Well, I don't I don't think it has anything to do with the RMD. I think it has everything to do with what the retirement income strategy is going to be, because maybe she doesn't have a lot of money in a retirement account, but she has Social Security. Right. And then so the RMD or the distribution from that could make her Social Security be subject to tax okay. up to 50 or 85 percent. So even though the balances could be low or moderate, I mean, I'm still looking at this as leverage. Right. That's all you, th- That's all it is, is that can I use that money as leverage to get a lot more money into a Roth IRA to compound for me tax-free? She's got 10 more years to work, right? So it's like, okay, well, yeah, you could, I, I think we would want you to do both, but if you can only avoid 7,000, it's going to depend, I guess, uh, uh, truly on what does your overall picture look like to really dial this thing yeah. in? But, you know, just from a spitball high level, it's like, all right, well, $7,000, if you give that to the IRS, if you're in the 12% tax bracket, it's roughly 50 some odd thousand dollars. If you're in the 24% tax bracket, it's roughly 30000 So would you rather have a lot higher number going into the Roth, convert it, then you have the cash to pay the tax and forget about it? Yeah, no, I agree with everything you said. Here's what I'm thinking, though. Sometimes we see real estate investors that have very little in their deferred accounts. So it, it doesn't matter so much. It, yeah, it that, would make that, that, almost more what zero. I'm yeah. yeah. Are you prepared for retirement? Schedule a free financial assessment with an experienced financial professional right online at purefinancial.com.